Alrighty, ladies and gents, how you guys doing? In this video, as you can tell, I'm going to go over the apps that are on my MacBook Air. You guys have wanted me to do this video, so here it is. I've not got that many apps, but here are the apps that I use constantly. Using the multi-touch gesture, which I must say is amazing with Line. First app is Google Chrome. I was convinced by you guys to switch over from Firefox to Google Chrome and that is probably one of the best decisions I've made, it's just much more faster and if you haven't already made the switch, download it, use it as a secondary browser and then if you don't switch to Chrome entirely as your primary app, you know, you can abuse me then. The second app I used quite a lot and it's called Handbrake and I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. In a nutshell, it allows me to convert my legally downloaded films onto iPod, iPhone and iPad friendly formats. In essence, when I'm on the road, want to watch a film on my iPhone, I can boom bam, watch it. This third app is probably a must for you guys out there, you should try it. It's called mPlayer X, it's equivalent to VLC player you guys are familiar with. Give mPlayer X a try because I find it much much faster and smoother. It's exactly the same, but in my experience, I've just found it to be more speedy. This next app I would highly recommend for all you students and business people out there. It's called MindNode. There's a free version and there's a paid version. I'm using the free one. And in a nutshell, what it allows you to do is create maps or create trigger points. So if you're going into an exam, instead of trying to memorize chunks of paragraphs, these are just, you know, maps colorful. You can change the colors. Have trigger points or ticking points and then you just kind of remember or if you're creating a business plan or you're starting a new business or a business idea you know you can just have the flow quite easy and simple in a graph and a chart type thing I find it pretty useful and I use it on a day-to-day -day basis and then next Twitter how can anyone with a Mac not have Twitter moving on to currency this is pretty useful and it basically, as the name suggests, allows you to convert currencies from pounds to euros, euros to dollars, Hong Kong dollars to pounds, or uh, there's a plethora of currencies to convert. Easy, simple, so you don't need to go into websites to try and convert it. It's right there in your launch pad. This next app is a must for all you iGeeks out there, and it's called Mac Tracker. And as the name suggests, it tracks all the previous Macs, iPods, Apple TVs, iPads, iPhones, and basically tells you history, when they were released, what price they were released, a description of what it was, uh, and you can track your current Mac, you can put details of all the Macs you own, and then keep a tab on when the warranty is due to expire. And it's a free application, it's kind of really good, Put it this way, it's the Wikipedia of everything Apple. Moving on to the application that I use day in and day out, Final Cut Pro X. What a beast it is to run on the MacBook Air. Love it. If you are serious about getting into the YouTube area, this is something to consider. It just makes it so much easy. You can do really complex things in a very neat UI, if that makes sense. Yes, it may be an iMovie Pro, but is that wrong? Is that, you know, really wrong? For me, people like me coming on from iMovie, because it was so familiar in terms of UI and design, it just made the whole process much simpler. As you can see, I've also got ScreenFlow. I hardly use it since I got Final Cut Pro X. I used to be a really heavy user in conjunction with iMovie, but everything kind of changed when I came on to Final Cut Pro X. Because you can do most of the stuff you can with ScreenFlow, um, yeah, I just tend to just keep it all within the one application and that's just the way I like it. Moving on to games, Flight Control HD, you all know, the incident you all know about. One of the games you probably haven't heard of is called Rail, Rail Maze and I am playing this endlessly. It is so much fun. It's, as the name suggests, it's a puzzle, you've got different levels and you kind of progress onto different levels once you've completed the first one. And it's getting the train from start to finish and it does get harder of course, that's the whole point. It's free on the app Mac App Store, I would highly recommend it if you haven't already played it. But guys, that is it pretty much for this video. If there's apps that I haven't seen or maybe you think are going to be useful or what apps are you using, you know, let me know. Leave a video response. I'd love to go through them or just leave a comment below. How are you, Amish? Guys, I will see you guys, as always, in another life. Cheers! Simple. Visit parcelmonkey.co.uk. Follow these four simple steps. Have the package collected from your doorstep and then sit back and relax.